Duran Premium Cigars, one of the fastest growing boutique cigar companies, providing smokers a portal into the old Cuban tradition of perfect balance and the lost art of progressive flavor construction. Roberto Palayo Duran began his career in tobacco over two decades ago in Havana, where his reputation grew within Cuban circles. The creation of Duran Premium Cigars has given Roberto the platform to introduce a series of cigars that offer the same quality, construction, and detail which he perfected while in Cuba. Brands include the ultra-premium Roberto P. Duran Premium Cigar Series, Azan Cigars, Nea, and Baracoa. Duran Cigars uses a seed-to-humidor approach as all tobacco is grown on their farms and rolled in their factory in Esteli, Nicaragua. Rollers have been carefully chosen to carry out Roberto's precise method to ensure progressive flavor in each cigar. Duran Cigars invites you to make their premium your standard. Welcome back, episode 258, volume two. Deuce. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome. I am your host this week, Joe Hosempa. We have Joe D co-hosting. Thanks for joining us. If you're just tuning in, uh, we just did our, uh, Joe D did his uh, top 10 of 2017. And uh, both of them, <laughs> both <laughs> lists, right? And our guest in studio is Jake Healy from Ale House Cigar Bar over in Providence, Rhode Island. And he did his uh, top 10. A uh, couple of programming notes. If you go to our wiki.stogiegeeks.com, uh, you will see our sticks of the week there. And we will get the uh, top tens posted up. And Jake, if uh, if you don't mind, uh, can you email me your absolutely uh, Joe H at StogieGeeks.com? Yeah. Email me um, your top ten. I'll get it up, and I'll also do a a, a link to your alehouse page uh, so that they can like the, the fan the page and they can find out what's yeah, going on. Yeah, absolutely. We're all, we're always doing something fun. So we've yeah. got an email list you can jump on if you go to the website. We've got our Facebook page. You can follow me on Facebook because I always repost everything. I'll post your your uh, profile as well. Yeah. And then we'll do that. That's wiki.stogiegeeks.com. I'll, I'll get those up uh, for you listeners um, who might not understand uh, Jake's and Joe D's and mine Rhode Island accent. What's that cigar? What's that cigar? Uh, what are you talking about? Right. Translator, please. So, so we'll, you know, the guy we'll, at the place with the thing. We'll get those up uh, there. Also, I do want to send a quick shout out. By the way, you can, uh, any listener feedback, you just email Joe H at stogiegeeks.com. Uh, I, I will uh, get back to you in, in regards to that. But I just want to give a quick shout out to. Um, to Brian, who had, uh, he, he sent me an email and he says, you mentioned that you're looking for the Mason Dixon line, Southern edition. Uh, here's the link, blah, blah, blah. And there's a shop down in Texas. He had found that. So, uh, thank you, Brian. I, uh, did some purchasing and, and, uh, I will be having that, uh, as a stick of the week, uh, at some point when I get them yes. to that point. Please, God, if anyone knows a place <laughs> yeah. where I can get a Pedro Martin gold, I don't care if it's one, I don't care if it's boxes upon boxes, I need that cigar back in my life immediately. I've well, been searching for it for years. I can't find them. Somebody actually sent me a link not that long ago to a website that was selling them. Yep. I ordered them. The website emailed me back and said, sorry, we're sold out. Mm. So if anybody knows where to get a Pedro Martin yeah. gold, tell him. There you go. <laughs> Tell me, and I'll forward, and I'll, and, and then I'll give you Jake's email yeah. as well, and and we can go forth from there. Might be minus one or two by the time it gets to you, but yeah. absolutely, yeah. absolutely. <laughs> Sticks of the week right now, but next week I'll be giving uh, my top ten for uh, 2017. Um, you know, uh, and 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 what my my process was as well. It was like nice. I said, it, it, it's, it's it's a fun process, it's but you are it, 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 it is hard. It, it is hard because you know it's like you know. If I could do a top 44, we'd be cool. Right. right? Yeah. <laughs> well, no, that's the thing. I go yeah. to the humidor at my house. I grab a bunch of sticks out. I go to work. I grab a bunch of sticks out of that humidor. I lay them all out and go, oh, crap. There's like 50 of these things now. Yeah. Yep. That, that, yeah. that, that was almost similar to my process where right. Paul had tasked uh, Joe and I last week on air saying that, you know, get those lists ready. Mm -hmm. and, and, you know, I immediately started writing down, just writing down, okay, I know it's going to be there. It's going to be there. I know there's this, this. And, and, and like I said, trying to whittle it down to 10 was uh, a, a big challenge uh, for sure, you know. Um, sure, if we did a yeah, collaboration of uh, 25 at Canvas, you know, all three of us, uh, 
I'm sure you're going to see, you know, most most of uh, those particular sticks. Mm, they're all winners. Yeah, yeah absolutely. What do we have with this cigar, by the way, first before we get into it? it this this is ridiculous. This is, is amazing. You, like you said, you get, you're getting that campfire back uh, sweetness. Oh, yeah. For sure. Retro hail. I know you're sick, so I, I won't task you with that. But I mean, it, it's 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 it, it, it's a great stick. Uh, I, I wish it was introduced to me before because it yeah. would have it would have made the, it would have made the list. Likewise, this could have uh, this could have taken the brownstone for me. But wherever you get these in first, uh, you let me know. And we're uh, and I'll we're deploying as we speak, so hopefully, uh, you know, listeners can find them in the shops uh, relatively soon. Yeah, you got a small ring for me. <laughs> I'll be doing. I'll be doing some. I'll be doing one or two things. I'm either gonna go shopping or I'm gonna raid your humidor. Choice is yours. Okay. Uh, <laughs> you know. And if you go by my track record, you know I'm a pretty good pirate. So yeah, we'll, be, we'll be breaking windows at your house. <laughs> there you go. The flag is up. <laughs> there you go. Uh, Joe. Yes, sir. Sticks of the week. What have you been smoking? First for me is the uh, the Illusion uh, Fumé de Amor, gifted to me by uh, by Paul Nicaraguan Puro. Uh, this is all Nicaraguan across the board. Uh, smoked the six and a half by forty-eight, um, nine dollar fifty cent price point with four sizes, twenty-five count uh, count box. Uh, except for the uh, uh, the smallest offering was the uh, Lagunas, it's four and a half by forty-two. That's a fifty count. Um, notes of marshmallow nuttiness, and uh, most of the pepper was no longer present as this stick came out in uh, two thousand fourteen. The IPCPR um, owner. Uh, Dion uh, Giolito, hopefully I don't butcher the uh, butcher the name. Medium in strength, uh, probably again you know stronger back in 2014. Uh, this is a box worthy stick for me. It played really well, smoke smoke great, really enjoyable. Uh, and I listed in my notes uh, a low maintenance cigar. It was just you know didn't have to touch it up. It, you know, and it was just uh, just played played well all the way through. Mm. Uh, the Illusione Fume de Amor. Mm-hmm. That 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 what cigar's the, been a staple the, uh, for a long time. That's a great smoke. Mm. What the, was the uh, official story geek rating? Uh, boxworthy. Boxworthy. Okay. Yeah. You said that. I missed that. Yes. That's okay. Cool. That's probably the uh, uh, true. Clementis uh, <laughs> size. That's okay. The name they put on it. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. I had the uh, Tatuaje uh, Seventh Kappa Special. Mm-hmm. Yum. And right, <laughs> yum. Right. Uh, the size I had was uh, five and five eighths by forty-five. Uh, I, yum. Yeah. Yum's yeah. good. Uh, yeah. <laughs> for, first, uh, complexity, flavor, and balance scale of one to ten. Complexity, I gave it an eight. Flavor, I gave it a nine. Balance, I gave it an eight. Teetering on nine. Right. You know, it's just yeah. it's, yep. it's put together, right? It's a well put together smoke. Um, Jake says yum. Yes, uh, I do. I say wow. Okay. You know, it's 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 a great smoke. Uh tons right off the bat, tons of spicy pepper. Uh you get a nice thick white smoke there. Uh smooth draw. Um uh great consistency throughout the stick. Right. Smoke that baby down to the nub. Every uh, time. Every enjoyed time. it thoroughly. And uh, it's kind of a sleeper too. Right. Yeah. That's one of those ones that you can walk into a shop and find a box that's just covered in plume and be like, well, how, why, how? Yeah. Give yeah. me all of them right now. Yes. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. It's one of those sticks where you, you know, you, you, you know, the, if if the people in the know would 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 shovel through them, yeah, you know, or collect them and put them in the humidor or whichever, um, and and the people in the not know would would allow it to just sit there and collect plume, you know, for okay. sure. Uh, I gave it box split with a friend, you know. Because, uh, you know, if you develop a good relationship with your tobacconist, you can find them on a pretty good deal um, and say, hey, you know, you got a box sitting there. What, 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 what can we do? And if, you get, and, if you grab, and if you get a friend in there, it's a great way to get 10 sticks, you know. There it is. Yeah. yeah. So there you go. That was the Tatuaje 7th Kappa Special. I gave it box split with a friend. Nice. I missed my notes, too. The uh, Fume de Amor translates to smoke of life. Mm-hmm. Uh, my next stick was the uh, what we're smoking now, the Cornelius and Anthony Senor Sugars, Mexican San Andreas wrapper, American binder, Nicaraguan fillers, um, the uh, five by fifty Robusto. We're smoking nine dollar and seventy five uh, nine dollar and seventy five cent price point, four sizes, uh, box of twenty. All, all the uh, all the uh, the notes of uh, you know, pepper, earth, sweetness, and that that campfire wood note. Uh, owner Stephen Bailey, 
They named the uh, cigar after his dog, um, Mr. Uh, Mr. Sugar. I, I I think the actual name was Oscar or something. It, is, it escapes me right now. Debuted at the uh, 2017 IPCPR. Made at the uh, Lazona factory. Eric Espinosa down in uh, Nicaragua. Medi- I put medium plus uh, as far as strength goes. You guys on, on board? or? Yeah, it's not quite kicking that full. Right. But it, 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 it's got some power to it. Absolutely, man. And uh, this is a box split uh, stick for me all day. Box split? Yep. Yeah. Yep. Oh, no. The, I'd go box worthy. Box worthy? Absolutely. Even better. Yeah. Even better. Nice. You know. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it, it, it's it, it it's i think you should eat when when you have that stick yep you yeah know, there's you know some people might not be a, a morning stick but i would put it in that medium plus yeah sure. if, if you're a medium smoker this is going to feel full <coughs> to you if you're a full, <coughs> full smoker it's going to feel medium to you yeah right. absolutely right. nice absolutely you gave it a box split i did there you go yep. i had the uh rancho luna maduro robusto mm. by uh jre uh interesting smoke um, the wrapper is San Andreas Maduro, uh, your binder, um, I love the binder, authentic Corojo. <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> right? as opposed to the fake stuff they've been using. As opposed, right? Yeah. I'm like, okay, yeah. uh, authentic Corojo. Interesting. Right. I love marketing sometimes. Right. Your now filler. made with real mu- white meat chicken. Yeah. No, what? At least. <laughs> well, it gets better because the filler is not only Habano, but it's authentic Corojo. <laughs> So, um, you know, that being said, had the stick, complexity, flavor, and balance. Complexity, I gave it a six. Flavor, I gave it a seven. Balance, I gave it a seven. It's pretty, it, it, it's, it's an interesting stick. Um, I, I, my initial thought was I'm going to give it a try one. Yep. Right? Then I said, wait, wait a minute. You know, you, you, you had me at Authentic Corojo, right? <laughs> let, let, let me, let me. Tickle ref- my fancy. Let yeah. me refresh. <laughs> yep. And let me uh, see, yeah. you know, what, what, maybe I missed something, um, you know, uh, produced by, by, by JRE Tobacco. You know, uh, some people, you, you, you know, in the industry, uh, I, I kind of, I, I try not to get name struck, but I try to say, okay, you know, the, the, clearly they have a track record. They know what they're doing. You know, let me revisit the stick. I've, I revisited it in the same week. And... I would just say it, it it teeters on a fiver, so it, it's 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 in that range. So you know, um, if if you see it in if you see it there, make great second stick, yep. great golf stick. Cause I believe it has some some long fillers in it off the top of my head. So you know, it, it it'd be a good it'd be a good golf stick. It had specific uh, barnyard notes to me, and th- this is one of those sticks that scratched the surface a little bit on uh, some of the list for the uh, for the uh, the close out of the year, but uh, uh, that. Barnyard note specifically, uh, mm. it was prevalent through that. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Well, you rated that a couple weeks ago, right? Or a couple, um, or recently? Actually, uh, three months ago, maybe something like that. No, it was it was a while back. Uh, they fell <coughs> okay. in Paul's hands. He chipped us off a couple sticks. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, early, early on in uh, the Stogie Geeks time, and uh, we smoked through. And I, um, I it was, there was a Connecticut and a uh, Habano. Yeah. Okay, yep. and uh, yeah, both both had uh, you know both enjoyable, uh, kind of those barnyard uh, similar notes, and uh, I think the rating at that time was also a fiver. So yeah, you know, right on, right on par. Yeah, I didn't notice much of a difference between the the Connecticut and the Maduro. I didn't too either. much in strength. I didn't either. No, you know. Yep. Oh, but, it's one of those dark, smooth Maduros. Yeah. 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 You know, it's like I said, it, it, it's a good stick. You know, you solid construction. You know, yeah, I remember in particular uh, big smoke production out of those sticks, mm-hmm. and. Uh, you know, five is, you know, five is a solid rating as well. So yeah, absolutely. Yep. That yeah. was the Rancho Luna Robusto Maduro. Yes. Go for it. Uh, next to me was uh, Drew Estate Papas Fritas. First mm. time, uh, I, uh, first time I got to smoke. Yum! Smoke yeah, these guys. I like that. Oh, no, yeah. I'm just gonna keep going with yum. <laughs> yeah. I usually keep one of the. You know how they come with the tin packs? Yes. I keep one of those tin packs in my car usually, and just every once in a while, if I'm Jones, I just reach for it and grab one. So good. Mm. So good. So good, man. I love the portability of that stick. Oh yeah. You know, yep. It's a great size. Connecticut broadleaf. <coughs> excuse me. Connecticut broadleaf wrapper, Brazilian Modafina binder, and Liga Provada trimmings in the filler. Six dollar price point. Tin of four. Uh, comes in a cool wooden sleeve with a pigtail on there. Uh, smoke the uh, the short Corona four and a half by forty four. Uh, flavor notes on this thing, man. Crazy for s- such a small stick. A little French fry. Bar- barbecue wood. 
pepper, earth, a little spice in there. Uh, spoke to the nub, and uh, <coughs> Excuse I, me. Yeah, I listed it as a uh, perfect driving stick. Driving, garage, short short timetable. Yeah, you, just, you can enjoy the hell out of it. Do you, you have any pseudo for Joe, by the right. way? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I do. Matter of fact, I do. I definitely need some water <laughs> before the episode ends. Something's happening with the stick. <laughs> He's turning into Rod Stewart in. over here. <laughs> I'd love to chip you off some of this. Uh... It's kicked in. <laughs> Production crew, can I please have a water? I ran out of coffee. Help this man so out. I, Thank you. Hell, this, stick, this stick, this stick, it just, I don't know, it's towards the end. Yep. And and it's like, whoa, okay. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's, uh, it's taking on another. It looks kicked in overdrive again. a little you bit. Know, I got to sit up for this stuff, for the ending of, <laughs> for the, ending of the stick. Go ahead. Um, medium, medium plus in strength. Box worthy or tin worthy, if you will. Absolutely. Uh, yeah, that's a special little yeah. stick, man. And Papa's Fritas literally means French fry. Yes. It's a, it's a, it's a little French fry. They're just delicious. It's yeah. a fun, tasty cigar. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. I love, like I said, the, 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 the portability of it is, is just amazing. Yep. Yeah, the presentation on it's great, too. Yeah. Yep. Absolutely. Um, Ooh. I had the... Nice. Ta-da. I, thank you. Oh, I had good. the... Thank you. Malono Estate Habano Siri 32. Uh, tried to re-get into some of the... the Malono Estate. I always liked them. That's a good brand. You know, yep. um, uh, with this one here, the wrapper is a is a Habano broadleaf from Ecuador. Binder is from the Dominican Republic. The filler is Nicaraguan with uh, some USA Pennsylvania broadleaf in there. Mm -hmm. uh, it's good. Size is uh, five by fifty. It, it was ranked medium to full. I'd kind of go maybe. Just a, a really good medium, straight up medium. Yeah, you know, yeah. re really straight up medium. Um, wh when I've started to to revisit these series, um, I, I well, well, complexity, flavor, and balance. Complexity, I gave it a six. Flavor, I did give it a seven. Balance, it is balanced for what the stick is. Right. I did give it a seven. Yep. You know, uh, re it, it it it's a good stick. It just it it. Um, There's something missing. It, it, it's, it's not only something missing. It, it, it has me like I, I don't know if 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 it's maybe an age thing or if it should sit a little bit. I mean, it's been sitting, you know. It just it just left me wanting just a, a little more. Yeah. For that, you know, good series, good stick, great second stick, you know. Uh, that being said, there I did give it a uh, fiver. You know, it's definitely good. it's a good set of sticks to to have in your rotation for sure. Yep. Um, I gave it a fiver, and and you know, I, I, again, uh, you've had it, right? Yeah. So, are you in agreement? Like you just yeah, the, it's tasty. You, you, you're waiting for something to happen, and then it just and then nothing happens. Never, it, it's it's almost kind of like when you go to a movie. Yep. And you've seen the commercials for it, and all the funny parts of the movie were in the commercials. Yep. It's almost like that, where you're like, I just, I just wanted more, and I didn't get it. Yeah, I felt they had more of a presence uh, a couple of years ago as well. It just, um, they've been quiet, you know. Yeah, mm. been quiet for some time. Yeah, yeah, and you know, I was excited with uh, Pennsylvania, uh, having that Pennsylvania in there. You're like, okay, you know, it could be slightly different. You know, yep. let's see. Yeah. And it just, it just, it was kind of, you know, just like perfect, right? Yeah. All the jokes are, are in the trailer. Exactly. And the movie was kind of eh. So, yeah. there you go. It's a good kicking around stick, though. Yeah, absolutely. You know, if absolutely. You, if, if you're mowing the lawn or golfing or something like that where you don't want to necessarily smoke a Padron, yep. it's a good stick for that. Yeah, absolutely. Nice. That was the uh, Malono Estate Habano Series 32. I'll tell you what I smoked, actually. Cause, go for Because we're going through this. I was, what you guys have now, I had the, starting the first of the year. So, I didn't smoke basically the whole first week of... 2018, which was killing me. Mm. And Torturous. so I, I, I decided I was going to go in the humidor, reach way in the back into the special section, mm -hmm. and break out a manifesto. Mm. Wow. That is a good smoke. Because I, I was looking at it, I'm like, yeah, okay, maybe it's gimmicky because it's the thing. You can only get one if Jonathan Drew hands you one. That was your it, first it, stick back after a week? It was my first stick back after a week. Well played. Good for you, man. It, it, was, it was that good. It, it wasn't as strong as the Undercrown Maduro. It had yep. a little spice to it, though. Smoked perfect. It, it was a great, great, great choice. Nice welcome back. Yeah. <laughs> Next to me was the uh, Black Label Trading Company Deliverance. Mm. Mm. Pennsylvania Broadleaf, Maduro Wrapper, Nicaraguan Habano Binder, and Nicaraguan and Pennsylvania Filler. Uh, smoked the four and three quarter by 40 by 56. 
Uh, short Salamone, snub nose, different shape on the cigar. Uh, 11 and a quarter on the price point. 12 count boxes and 18 count boxes. There's uh, two sizes available. Media Plus in strength. Uh, first debuted at the 2015 IPCPR with a limited release and initially had a uh, San Andreas wrapper. So it's been a little bit of a change up since then. Uh, earthy and pepper notes, little chocolate. Um, I had to cut, I recut this cigar, I had to give it a, uh, a double snip to, uh, to make it work, but uh, enjoyable nonetheless. Uh, founded by James Brown, the Fabrica Oveja Negra factory in uh, Esteli. And this is a box split uh, cigar for me. Yeah. Black mm, Label is one of those companies. That they're, they, they're right Black there. Label, Esteban Carrera, they're huge in other parts of the country. And for some reason, they're, they're not here. And it drives me insane because right. they make some really, really great sticks. But nobody knows about them. I, I feel just in, uh, you know, bouncing around all the shops, they're starting to gain a little traction here. Yeah. Here in Renown specifically, um, starting to make some headway. And yeah, they got a ton of sticks and pretty damn solid. Because it's tough as a retailer. You go, yeah, I want, I want to sell this cigar. This is definitely a cigar I'm passionate about personally. I want to sell it. I want, I want to have it around. I want to teach people about it. Yep. But it's always tough to kind of give them that push to start smoking it. That, that, that's one of the reasons why I brought in the Esteban Carreras, because right. I, I, I think people just need that little push. Joe and I have uh, mowed through you know, the last couple of months uh, through plenty of uh, uh, the Black Label stuff and uh, the Black Work Studio. There's uh, a lot of gems to be had in there. Absolutely. Mm. Yeah. You know? yeah, I, I like that. That that's one of the companies that I, if we have a top five watch, not that I want to give us more task <laughs> here on the <laughs> Story Geek Show. <laughs> I hope Paul's because, not listening. Because, because, I hope because, Paul's not listening. Right? Because because you know, uh, if if we were doing like a top five companies to watch in 2018, yeah. uh, that, that would be one. That, that would be one absolutely of, be that, one. That, that that would be one of them. Like if you want to stop watching them and 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 interesting. To that could be see. a fun segment. Six months out, you know, uh, end of year recap. You yeah. know, kind of get. Uh, I'm, I'm, but I think you're on to something. Oh yeah, yeah great, you, right? More work, you might be. yeah. <laughs> more work, right? right? More work. You. But it, but it, 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 it's one of those companies that it, they're tough to find. Mm -hmm. But if you can find them, please, please, please pick one up and smoke one. Yeah. I also feel that uh, the shops I've been to that that do carry it um, are doing them the justice and they're bringing in almost everything that they uh, they have. Mm -hmm. You know, it's not yeah. just a little little teaser here and there. It's you know, well, they're one of those brands. Nice they, they do actually have a requirement. Okay, yeah. well, there it is. So, so it's one of those things where you can't just bring in a couple of facings. You have to bring in more. Brought the specialist in. That's, yeah. yeah, there's a little behind the scenes. No, nice. yeah, no. There's a there's a lot behind the scenes. If you're a host of this show, if you're a co-host of the show, if you're a, a swing host like me, sometimes I'm a host <laughs> and sometimes I'm a co-host. You know, it's it, it, there's a lot of so there's some good preparation that 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 comes into this. You know, and just like you with your humidor, when, when we walk into to your shop, there's a lot of preparation that you had to do for presentation, oh, yeah. shelf space, and all of that stuff there, too. So, uh, good points. Yep. Good points. I had the uh, Potagus Heritage Robusto. Uh, size is uh, 5.5 by 52. Okay. Uh, complexity, flavor, and balance. Complexity, I gave it a 6. Flavor and balance is where the stick is at, yep. I think. Right. I gave them both eights, right? I think it's I think it's got it's got good flavor, uh, old school flavor right. that that I dub as old school fla flavor. Yep. Um, balance, really really balanced stick. Uh, very impressed with this. Um, having smoked some of the Cubans uh, that 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 Potagus <clears throat> has uh, out there as well, um, you know it it's they did a very um, very diligent job in mimicking the process. Nice comparison yeah. point yep. right there too. Yeah, with yep. with within my opinion. Uh, wrapper is uh, is a Honduran wrapper. Binder, you have a Connecticut Broadleaf. Uh, filler is a Dominican Polito Cubano with uh, Honduran and Mexican uh, San Andreas filler in there. So, you know, it, it's it's got a lot going on, but I, I it, it's got that old school classic facing yep. tobacco yeah. taste, which I know maybe you... Uh, and especially you, I know because I speak to you at least on a weekly basis, oh, yeah. if not three or four times a week from the behind the scenes, you know, we, we kind of like what's new, what's new, what's new, what's new, you know what I mean? Oh, we, you know, and then, you know, if you want, if you're looking for a classic, um, this stick, uh, definitely you should revisit this stick. If you find it within the humidor, it's got a good price point to it as well. 
uh, they, they come in boxes of 20. That was the uh, Potagus Heritage Robusto. I gave that solid box split for sure. It, does it stand up to the Cuban? The Cuban, um, yes and no. See, if, if, in, 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 uh, if I had to give you a direct answer, I would say no. Because you don't know how much of that is, you know, um, what I find with, with the Cuban is um, they're delivered with greater smoothness on the palate. Yeah. You know, not strength on the palate. Uh, uh, greater smoothness when the cigar goes through its first half, second half, third half transitions. Um, you really feel it in the non-Cuban. And with the Cuban, in my opinion, it's kind of like butter. Yeah, so it's seamless. Yeah, so yep. seamless. See, perfect. I know, I see? love it. Aren't I love you it. happy I, I came today? I was very happy you came Breaking today. Breaking out the SAT words. That was the, <laughs> that was the uh, Potagus Heritage Robusto, and like I said, I gave it a box split all day. Nice, nice. Uh, last for me was the uh, Byron 19 Reserva 4 Años. It's got that blue label on there. Um, full disclosure, the Byron 19 Grand Poemas, my ultimate, uh, my ultimate favorite stick, the Unicorn. Uh, this is my first time smoking uh, this particular size, the 4x50 T Poemus, uh, natural wrapper, undisclosed binder and filler, as uh, as on point with uh, as Byron goes. Twenty dollar price point. Twenty dollar price point. Yeah, jars of twenty five. <laughs> uh, cra- crazy good flavor in uh, this particular stick in the uh, the first two thirds. Spice uh, like a butterscotch note. Clean to what I'd say is like a clean tobacco and a little bit of pepper leaves your palate clean at the end. Um, made by uh, Nelson Alfonso, it falls under the uh, United Cigar uh, branch as well. Um, this is where it gets a little uh, little dicey, but <laughs> that, <laughs> go for it. <laughs> that back third took a turn down uh, Harsh Street for me, and uh, you know it's a medium stick, but I can't come up with a higher rating than Fiver. And was, I, was it like I'm, bitter I'm, or did it just get? Yeah. 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 Um, first two thirds, absolutely phenomenal. Uh, and, uh, you know, just it was a, it was a different ride, uh, that back third. So, you know, $20 price point. You know, maybe I could, uh, maybe the rating comes up a little bit and changes. Uh, price isn't a factor. I kind of factor that in with, oh, my, yeah. with my ratings. You know, so I got to stay, uh, got to stay uniform here. Mm-hmm. But uh, yeah, the Byron 19 Reserva Four Años with the blue label uh, fiber. Yeah, because that's one of those deals where a fiber for that is going to be a hundred bucks. True. So True. Is, is it worth a hundred bucks for right. five of them? I, I I just smoked this past weekend, first time got my hands on the uh, uh, the Byron 21, and uh, I'll be reviewing that uh, next week with a very favorable rating. Uh, also in that uh, special category, I, I'm wondering if. I let the uh, the hype play into it uh, leading in. I, w- I was very excited to uh, finally get my hands on it. Yeah, it might just be one of those deals where you might need a little age on that one. Right. Let it mellow out a little bit. Right. That that could be uh, that could be the case for sure. Mm. Yep. I have one more stick. Uh, I had the Monte Cristo Espada. Mm-hmm. The size mm-hmm. I had was the Guard, which is a Toro size, six by fifty. Wrapper, you have a Nicaraguan Habano. Uh, binder and filler are from. Nicaragua complexity flavor and balance complexity see it's tough it complexity I gave it a six flavor I gave it a six balance I gave it a six that's it that's it really I like that way more I went into this Monte Cristo Mm -hmm. you know I did have one when they first got released um you know enjoyed it okay and then when it was time to revisit it, you got to revisit and, yep. and, 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 and to, to have it. I just, uh, again, it, 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 it just, it just left me wanting more. You know? See, I didn't get that from that. What'd you get from it? I, it, it, it was straightforward. You're right. There's not a whole hell of a lot of complexity going on with that cigar, but the flavor for me is on point. Mm-hmm. I think it had really, really great flavor to it. Mm. You know, there, there wasn't like a transition between the thirds of the cigar, but it, it, it's got good flavor to it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Flavor. I don't know. It just, you know, I, I just wanted, I just wanted more. I'm gonna, I'm gonna switch to the the smaller size and yeah. and, and and see what that brings because uh, it, it, if I was coming up with a rating, I would say, okay, great. Uh, you know, uh, I'd I'd give it a fiver, but 
I think it's worth a little bit more than that, you know. Yeah. And I'm kind of, you know, I, I gotta, I gotta re, re, rekindle myself, but with, with with that and revisit that stick. But towards the end, did you notice it just, it just went flat or no? Yeah, it does just kind of tail off a little bit. You know, and 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 that and that's what kind of left me with with yeah. with with that overall rating. Because like, you're you're waiting for that that last third to to kick in, give you or, something, and or it, do something. It, it, you know, it, it's monotone. Or? Uh, the price point? Oh yeah, you're, you're rocking like eleven bucks. Okay. You know, yeah. ma- right. maybe twelve in some shops, twelve fifty tops. But you know, you're you're so you know, in in I don't know. I just well, you know, you you you're, you're smoking Nicaraguan tobacco. I don't expect it to be that smooth. Yeah, you know, and it was just, and then you, towards you the wanted end, it to be more like an Elway Wednesday. Yeah, yeah, little, you wanted little, you wanted the little kick, the little cinnamon spice nutmeg thing, which the, Monte Cristo yep. has produced some sticks like that in the past. Yeah. you know, so they I don't can know, do it. You know, I don't know if it was a label thing where it's like, okay, I expect to smoke X from from this right. company right. and whatnot, but uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna switch the size up. Yeah, and and see if I can get the flavor. The flavor when you first start kicking it, it goes good. Like the, it, it does have some some really nice flavor to it, but that back end is just it's just kind of flat for me. It's like one of those relationships where yeah, you know, when it's going good, it's good, and then uh, you know, <laughs> maybe a little fizzle out. Fizzles yeah. out. Yeah. It's yeah, sure, sure, well, sure, absolutely. Lost uh, some so, of the luster. Yeah. Yep. So, uh, any last words you want to get in, Joe D? Before we thank Jake for stopping by. Absolutely happy to have Jake, and and uh, always welcome, my friend. Yeah. Thank. Yeah. Thank. Thanks That's for having me again. You guys definitely have to do that. Uh, five brands to watch. Five brands to watch. Would you come up with another one off the top of your head, not to put you on the spot? United. Oh, yeah. now, now that he brought up Byron, there you yeah. go. Yep. United's going to really start doing some good stuff. I, yeah. I feel they're, uh, they're, they're a on that uptick. Yeah, they're absolutely a sleeper. Uh, yeah. they got a ton of, uh, ton yeah. of juicy sticks over there. But it's one of those New England things, again, right. where it's just they're not bigger. They're big in other parts of the country. They're just not around here. Mm. Mm. You know, it's it's and and it's that's what I like where, when I get email from the Stogie Geeks listener. You go to Joe H at StogieGeeks.com. You know, and and they say, oh, you know, uh, especially like around Christmas time, I got, hey, Joe, can you just give me uh, top five sticks that you would choose for Christmas? I was like, oh, great. That's a good question. Yeah, right. So I was like, okay, geographically, here we go. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. And, and the listener who was down in Maryland, uh, she said, uh, that it, it, you know she only found three of the five. Yeah. But, but thanks. Think, but here's the screwed up thing: United's big down there. Yes. Sure. Yeah. 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 So you know, and it, it was one of those things. So you know, if if you have a top five, uh, and you're a Stogie Geeks listener, uh, we'll definitely do a segment on that. Maybe maybe in the next couple of episodes with with the Stogie Geeks, uh, with the Stogie Geek segment. Uh, just give me. I have your name because the email tells me your name. But give me your first name, the town you live in, like in the state, and your top five, and we'll we'll kind of do like a little bit of uh, a little watch list. Yeah, yes. a, a kind of like a watch list. So if you have a top five, uh, like I said, flash me an email, Joe H StogieGeeks.com, and we'll be able to uh, get some conversation going. Or hey, you want to throw it out there? L- look, go to Facebook and look up Stogie Geeks. You should like us by now, but like the page. Post it on our wall, and we'll keep the conversation going all week with that. And that's know? great too, because then other people can help you out. Yeah, because yeah. you know, the, the, you know, uh, and, and it was also tough doing when we did our top ten. This is what we've had right. access yeah. to, right? You know, True. so in reality, it's not it's not like you know every single cigar company had sent Stogie Geeks, even though I think they should. But you know, <laughs> the, you know, had sent us the the, the cigars and said, "Hey, try it." This was the, like the top ten that we had access to, the top ten that that we enjoyed. Yeah. You know, and out of pocket, full, uh, full assessment. Uh, yeah, no, no bias here, man. It's yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I love to see. Uh, that's one of the things that I like to do when when I travel is I like to go into a humidor and see what I don't have access to. Hundred percent. Yeah. Try what I, what I don't have access to, and then continue the uh, smoking journey that way as well. That, that's what I'm saying about Black Label. It was funny when they did the show in New Orleans. Yeah. When you go to the cigar bars in New Orleans, Black Label is Presence. everywhere. Yeah. 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 And around here, I know Havana has it, but around here, you can't find Black Label. Yeah, yeah. Vintage is the only other shop that I know. Yeah. Really? Yeah. yeah. Yep. It's See, just... Vintage. Those, those two. They're killing it down there. I love that place. Yeah, they're doing pretty good. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, for sure. Great job. Absolutely. Thank you for stopping by. Absolutely. With that being said, hope you enjoyed episode 258 of Stogie Geeks. It's been a pleasure. We'll see you next week.